This is the Basilica of the Agony, the place where it is believed that Jesus prayed on the night that he was arrested. At the very center of this church is a patch of exposed limestone bedrock, presumed to be the rock upon which Jesus prayed during his agony. 2,000 years ago, this entire mountain was covered by olive trees. It was night, and Jesus had just left many of his disciples in a cave that we call the Gethsemane Grotto. He then selected his three inner circle apostles, Peter, John, and James, to pray just south of the cave in a place that we call the Garden of Gethsemane. And Jesus went a little farther to this place to pray alone. But how do we know that Jesus prayed on this particular spot? The fact that a 4th century Byzantine church was built here as soon as Christianity was legal tells us that there was an earlier belief that Jesus did pray here. And Luke 41.21 describes the place where Jesus prayed as being a stone's throw from where the apostles were sleeping. Well, the distance between the Gethsemane Garden and the rock at the center of this church is consistent with Luke's stone's throw geographic narrative. When you enter the church, the priests here generally discourage visitors from talking in order to maintain the ambience that was experienced by Christ on the night that he prayed here. When travelers are here, the church keeps the lights off to replicate the darkness of the somber night when Jesus prayed. The ceiling is painted a deep blue to simulate a night sky, with the stars being surrounded by olive branches, reminiscent of the Gethsemane Garden. Take a look at the rock. There are several symbols here of Christ's imminent passion. Surrounding the rock is a crown of thorns, a picture of the crown that Jesus wore when he was mocked by the Roman soldiers. The cups on three sides of the rock symbolize the cup of Christ's sacrificial blood that he was about to shed, a cup that he prayed about on this rock. You can see a cup on each side of this rock where visitors pray, recalling the moment when, in Matthew 20:23, 20, Jesus said to his disciples, Indeed, you will drink from my cup. The pair of silver doves and the two young pigeons are birds that are mentioned in Luke 2:24 as the ritual sacrifice that Mary and Joseph were required to give after Jesus was born. This Jewish ritual was a foreshadowing of the sacrifice that Christ himself would ultimately become. The middle mosaic shows Jesus praying on the rock of agony. He knew that he was about to experience an extremely painful death. And the Gospel of Luke tells us that his anguish was so intense that his perspiration was like great drops of blood. Think about this. After Jesus' 40-day fast in the wilderness, and after he resisted Satan's temptations by the determination of his will, angels came to minister to him. Immediately after this fast, Luke tells us that Satan departed from Jesus until an opportune time. That opportune time came on the night that Jesus prayed on this rock. It was here that he said, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. And just as it occurred in the wilderness, an angel immediately came to strengthen him. Jesus demonstrated that if the Father's perfect will is our one and only desire, our resolve to obey him will be quickly reinforced with the strength to do it.